Hello guys and welcome back to a bit of a different video. Today I'm not going to be talking about a league or a team. Instead I'm going to be starting off a career mode with Schalke Norvia. So, like all career modes, I'm going to start off by having a look at my team and the youth academy, see what kind of players we've got in there. The biggest weakness I found with the Schalke team is the total lack of a right back as I mentioned in my other video about them. So one of the first things we need to scout is a new right back, but until then, Kabak and I believe Skopf can both play there decently, uh, but of course we want a full time normal right back. So right now I'm looking through all the ex Schalke players that we have in the game. I'm going to try and sign as many of these as I can. I'm not going to sign the ones that left in sort of acronymous circumstances like Neuer or Max Meyer. But players like Draxler and Leroy Sane left in fairly well, fairly good terms. So I'm not also going to be buying them outright wherever possible. Schalke have a bit of a financial issue at the minute. So if I want to sign a player, I am going to try and recoup the transfer fees that they get from selling other people. You can see here I am adding people to the transfer list, players that I might not want and players such as Hyrit, who I'm putting out on loan because I think that's a fairly realistic way to solve the problem that he's causing. He's got talent and Schalke could of course do with him, but he's a bit of a troublemaker at the moment, as I mentioned in my other video. So we've got a offer for Bentaleb. Uh, they offered five or so million. I've accepted that. Hopefully I can put that towards signing Draxler in the first transfer window. We just need a little bit more money and I don't want to sell Uth just yet because he's probably our first choice left winger or attacking midfielder if I don't sign Draxler. So here I've got my list of all the players that I'm going to be signing. I'm going to go straight in and try and sign Draxler now from Paris. Of course, Draxler went to Paris to Saint-Germain a few years ago. Um, he's not been played that much and he hasn't improved too much from when he left Schalke. I think it's fairly realistic that he would join Schalke again. Um, and of course, I am going to try and keep this career mode as realistic as possible. He is also one of my favourite players on FIFA, which is a big reason why I wanted to sign him. But you can see there, we've got an offer of 19 million accepted. And now Huntala is going to go to the restaurant and persuade him to join, hopefully for a pretty knockdown wage. Of course, 74 grand a week is pretty expensive. But if we can get him in the 50s, that would be pretty spectacular. Of course, he would improve our team. He would be our best player by one rating after Salif Sane. Um, he's got five star weak foot, four star skills, good shot, decent pace. So overall, I would be very happy with him joining. To get the money for him, we're gonna try and sell a different midfielder, possibly Serdar, or maybe even um, Western McKenney if Juventus wanted to try and activate that loan to buy. Now in terms of overall goals for this career mode, we're going to be trying to keep it realistic, trying to finish mid-table in the first season with Schalke, uh, we're going to be playing on Legendary with strict transfers. Um, eventually, if I do try and do a second, se second season of this, we'll be going to try and get European football and then third season maybe win the league or get in the Champions League. So you can see right now we had a decent offer for Mascarell. I think that would cover most of the tracks of fee. I tried to see if there was a right back we could include as well, but it doesn't look like Milan had one that they would be willing to, uh, to give us. So we're going to be playing a 4-2-3-1 with Draxler in the hole behind Pichenta. I think this is his best position. Of course he can play striker, centre mid and left winger as well, so he's very versatile and uh, you can see that he's going to probably be in our team until the end of the series. So we're coming up on the first Youth Academy um, intake day. I've had a few comments letting me know that people want to see videos on how to keep this realistic. I'm going to be trying to do this in this series as well. We've just got a 4 star scout in Germany and then a 1 star scout in Turkey because we do have a few Turkish players that have come through the Schalke Academy in the past, the likes of Mesut Ozil and Demriel. So you can see our first academy isn't too great. We have uh, Bruno Grün at the bottom, who looks alright, but he's not got very good potential. Um, we're just going to scout them all for another month and hopefully get some better players next month. The Turkish report is also pretty disappointing. We haven't got anyone good from that either. 
Um, so we're just going to get rid of one and scout the other. I like the idea of having a scout in Turkey as well. Hopefully that gives us uh, gives them some good coverage and fairly realistic player names in our youth academy. So in terms of the way we're going to play, it's going to be the 4 2 3 one, as I said before. Um, we're going to be trying to get the ball to Draxler as much as possible. He's going to be the playmaker. Hopefully he has enough of a weak foot and enough of a long shot that he can score some goals out of the blue. Um, but like I said, we do need to get a right back. We can't do it all with Draxler as, as good as he is. The most realistic right backs for um, the most realistic right backs for Schalke, as you can see here, as I pause, is uh, the players from second Bundesliga. Um, Philip Max would be a good left back, but of course he's not a not right back. So. We're about to go into the first game week, which is going to be against Leverkusen. They're one of the strongest teams in the Bundesliga. They have very fast wingers, um, decent midfielders, good strikers. They're an all-round, they're a better team than us. But hopefully Hunter can lead us to glory in Bayer Leverkusen's home ground. So you can see the Bundesliga, of course, is fully licensed. Um, it's got all the right graphics. So match day one is about to begin. The video is just going to be the match highlights. Um, I'm going to cut to a different angle here and there, wherever possible. Hopefully that keeps it a bit more entertaining. And you can see by Leif Kusen have been busy in the transfer market signing Marcus Madison from Leicester as well, which I'm not sure they'd be watching my videos because I wouldn't consider that to be too realistic. Either way, he's going to be uh, a thorn in our side, probably. So you can see Leverkusen start off with the ball. They're getting out wide like the AI tend to do. Uh, Bellarabi, of course, has a lot of pace, and so does Diaby on the other side. Um, so there's a bit of a mix up at the back there and a poor shot, but that's that done with. So cutting to 24 minutes in now, I'm through and goal. I'm getting ready to shoot, and it pulls it back because my right back, who we don't have any other right backs, is now injured. Um, of course, I don't have any right backs on the bench, so I have to bring on a 64 rated centre back as my right back because he's the most, the most uh, efficient player for this role. So we have another chance here a couple of minutes later, but unfortunately we hit it straight at the goalkeeper and there's an acrobatic clearance. But then another few minutes after this, we win the ball back in midfield, get it to our midfielder Serdar. Drax is making the run through. and tucks it in the corner so he's got a goal on his debut hopefully he gets a few more of those for us and that should be uh be repaying his transfer fee pretty nicely so of course it's good to see Draxler back in the uh, Schalke colors white and blue or blau and vice but now we cut to the middle of the second half and the ai does one of their goals where marcus madison i think he knocks Salif Sane off the ball, who's a six foot five centre back, and tucks it straight through for Patrick Schick, who has of course tucked it away super nicely. And then here, this was just poor for me. I pressed slide tackle trying to block the shot, and I got the man. So 71st, 71st minute, and they have a penalty. They've subbed off Diaby, thankfully. But we guess right and we get the save thankfully keeping it 1-1 for no good goalkeeper um you can see here that my players were all on really low stamina that's just because i forgot to turn training off i had it on every day for pre-season and then i forgot to turn it off before the match all my players had just trained and they were all knackered after about 30 minutes so that's the end of the match it was 1-1 a decent start against a strong team in by leverkusen uh, I'm fairly happy with the result. I think we did well. Um, I played all right football. We got a bit lucky. Goalkeeper made a few saves, but thankfully Diaby doesn't have the best shooting. Otherwise, it might have been 2 or 3 1. Especially the penalty. That should have probably been a goal as well. Uh, that mistake could have cost me. Drexler was good. He had some good touches on the ball. Of course, he took his goal well. Um, but overall, pretty good. Pretty good first match. So. Of course, I'm not so good at doing these kind of career mode videos yet. This is the first one I've done. If you do have any suggestions or improvements that you think I can make for this, 
uh, let me know. I'm probably going to have made episode 2 and 3 before I see the comments for this one. So anything you suggest will probably be got a 2 or 3 um, episode delay on it. So if you do think of any improvements though, definitely let me know and hopefully I can incorporate them in the future. So if you have liked this video, um, as the highlights play in the background, please drop me a like and uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I will be doing hopefully at least one season of career mode on this. I'll try and get three or four games in an episode rather than just the one I did today. Um, I'll try to keep it as realistic as I can with the youth academy and the player scoutings and signings. But until next time, I think I'm just going to leave you with Klaasian Huntelaar doing his nice uh, post-match interview and uh, say I'll see you in the next one. So thank you for watching and goodbye.